Hello, my name is Chip Thompson and welcome back to the Ultimate Survival Challenge in FIFA 20 where we attempt to keep up newly promoted Norwich City in the Premier League despite being really shy to the game. In this episode, we'll be facing fellow new boys Aston Villa, Bournemouth and Manchester United in the Carabao Cup fourth round. First up is Villa who, at the time of recording this, have just smashed Norwich 5-1. So let's see how this goes. Ah, that stupid fucking career mode bug even affects Aston Villa who are playing youngsters against us. And yes, I'm going to complain about that every single episode until it's fixed, because it's still not fixed and it's been ages. Kick off then in this potential early six-pointer. With crosses and headers being nerfed this year, I've decided that every corner we take is going to be a short one. As demonstrated here, with Mount laying the ball into Buendia, he gets away from his man, turns, shoots, and it's a comfortable save. Villa get their first chance of the match with a long clearance from inside their own half. El Ghazi easily turns our defender and he's got space to run into, all the way into the box, shoots, save from the keeper and from the follow up a little header and it bounces against the bar. Bit of a let off. It wouldn't be this series without BFF's Mount and Pookie working together, so here's Pookie shielding the ball away from the defender and playing it to Mount, he tries to make some space but again, nah, it's not really troubling the keeper. Villa win a free kick in a dangerous position, they dink one into the box and a glancing header doesn't go too far past the post. And the replay shows just how close that was. It's another let off. Here's Mount galloping through the middle like a great steed, but he decides to shoot and the keeper has to turn it away. That's a bit more like it, lads. From another short corner, Buendia finds Tamore on the edge of the area and the centre back thinks, fuck it, and has a go. But again, the keeper is all, yeah, whatever, that was easy, mate. Do better next time, you idiot. And so ends the first half. No goals, but some half-decent chances means it's a fairly lively nil-nil. The halftime stats show we had more shots, but I reckon Villa definitely went closest to scoring. I think the second half is about to be Oh no, no, it started. Here we go. A corner from Villa causes a bit of chaos in the box as we struggle to get it away, allowing Villa to get a snapshot of goal, but our keeper's equal to it. The second half is nowhere near as interesting as the first, with Villa dominating the early portion and us not being able to create anything of note, with Mount's block shot here pretty much being the best we offered. And with the game threatening to evaporate into a bore draw, Mount plays the ball through to substitute Dr. Mick. He cuts inside and finds Mount running in. And with the dustiest of touches, Mount scores. So late in the day, he may have potentially gifted us three points here. Even if he hadn't scored, pretty sure this would have been a penalty. In the dying seconds, Dr. Mick has a hopeful effort, which is easily saved again. But there is the full-time whistle. Mount's late goal is enough. And I feel like that could be an extremely important win. We didn't play well in the second half, but we did get the three points. Come on. The full-time stats show really that while Villa put us under a lot of pressure, they didn't create enough. And you know what? Screw it. We deserve that win. Yeah, shut up. Because we picked up a few yellow cards, the post-match reporter seems to think we're a bunch of no good yobs. So I'd probably tell him to fuck off. And it's time for the second match of this episode, away to Bournemouth. Let's see what drama unfolds here. The two teams decide to get things started with a gentlemanly kickoff. Considering our late goal winner in the previous game, it'd be really great to get an early goal here. We try to make that happen with Pookie playing a sexy back heel past the mount, who takes one touch before firing and it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Not a bad start. Of course we play it short from the resulting corner to Roberts, who cuts back inside, and Buendia shot is charged down, and it falls to Pookie, whose shot is blocked, but it's back to him and he smashes it into the back of the net. We do get that early goal, and we lead by 1-0. Great start, lads, great start. After that great start, we decide we're going to make things difficult for ourselves when Mount goes in for this challenge and gets sent off. We go down to 10 men in the 17th minute, and that's a bit of a harsh decision, I think. In the super slow-mo, you can see Mount doesn't even make contact with the man, and I am incensed on the touchline. This is a long time to play with a man down. So here come Bournemouth. They work the ball into the box, and luckily for us, it sails over the bar. Early warning signs though. Bournemouth play a 1-2 outside the box, and Martinez is allowed to get his shot away, and it's not far wide. God damn, this is going to be a long game for us. But we managed to make it to half-time with our one-goal lead still intact. But we had nothing after that red card. The halftime stats show that Bournemouth weren't able to capitalise though and haven't really tested our goalkeeper. Let's see if we can survive the second half. Callum Wilson has been quiet in this game so far but here he easily turns to Moray and it has a great chance but he blasts it wide. Oh man, what a let off that was. Can it be full time now please? Just past the hour mark. For some god knows reason, Pookie decides that he's going to make a tackle about 29 years too late and the ref is like, you stupid idiot, get off the pitch and get some help for that aggression. 
we're down to nine men. Yeah, I'm not really going to complain about that one too much. Things go from bad to worse for us as Lewis Cook finds Martinez and he's just left completely alone, pulls it back to Wilson and his incredibly timed strike somehow ends up in the back of the net. Honestly, what in the actual tip wank happens here? <sighs> like it matters, it's 1-1. Cook finds Wilson in the box again, who shoots first time and it comes off the post. Man, if we get anything from this game, it's going to be a bloody miracle. With nine men, we somehow manage to force a half chance as Lewis runs forward from the back and whips one in for Dr. Mick, but he can't get any meaningful contact on the ball. With time running out, it's Wilson with another chance. The keeper makes a good save, but the rebound is straight back to Wilson, who volleys it into the back of the net. Oh, that is heartbreaking. We work so hard, and I don't think there's any coming back from this now. And that is the full-time whistle. We really screwed ourselves over here. One nil up, playing well. And then those two red cards just killed it for us. The full time stats show just how difficult of a game that was for us today. Before we get to the cup action, let's have a quick look at the league table. We stay third somehow, and Bournemouth have gone top. <laughs> look at that top six. Fix career mode, you utter bellends. Right, with all that bollocks out of the way, it's time to face Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. At Old Trafford. Without Pookie and Mount. Eep. Kick off then, let's see if we can keep everyone on the pitch this time. United go close first with Chong playing in Lingard, his cross is blocked and then for some reason he goes for a header and for some reason Alkiba doesn't catch this. What? We manage a shot when Loftus-Cheek lays it off to Amadou who has a go with his left foot, it's blocked and we get a corner. Nothing terribly exciting but this game sucks so far so I'm including this as a highlight. United hit us on the counter with Rashford sending Lingard through. He has some work to do but cuts inside and shoots and it's turned away with a good save. From the corner, Lingard crosses and Dalat has a go on the volley. That's not too far wide either. Amadou to Loftus cheek who shoots and I'm not going to lie, I thought that was in and celebrated like an idiot for about 10 minutes. Either way, it was our best chance of the match so far. Really good effort. We make it to half time and I'm pretty pleased with the performance so far to be honest. The half time stats show it's been a fairly even game so far and we've still got 11 players on the pitch. I call that a result. What comes after the first half? Oh yeah, the second. It's kickoff time. Loftus Cheek manages to avoid a red card for this late challenge. <laughs> it takes a long time in the second half for a shot to actually happen, and it comes with Rashford having a couple from a difficult angle, which the keeper palms away. We've had late goals in each game so far in this episode, and we know United love a bit of Fergie time. So here's Goetze playing it to Lingard, and his first time shot is saved. We survive again. And there it is, the full-time whistle. This game is going to extra time. Wait, what the fuck? It's going straight to a penalty shootout. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, shit. We have missed three penalties in this career mode so far. We've missed three. We've had three, and we've missed three. Oh, balls. United go first and score. I'm not feeling very confident here. Our first penalty, then. And we score. It's a decent one, too. Get in. Lingard for United. And it's wide. What a shocking penalty. Hernandez with our second, and I think we're going to go the same direction. And he rolls it in too. Keeper didn't move. We're ahead in the shootout. Sanchez steps up, and he goes wide too. United taking penalties like they're playing in real life. Really shit. Amadou to give us a 3-1 lead. We go a different way, and he scores too. Keeper rooted to the spot again. And if United miss this, we're through. Garner steps up. The United fans shit their pants. Garner misses. We've done it. We've somehow, someway, beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford on a penalty shootout. I don't care if it's only the Carabao Cup fourth round. I'm going to celebrate like we've won the bloody World Cup. Absolute scenes. Okay, okay, now that I've calmed down a bit, let's look at the stats. United dominate. Don't care. We won. On penalties. I'm interviewed again by the same simple journalist who thinks this was a quarter-final tie. They also ask if I wanted the game to go to penalties, and here was my suitable reply. Well, that's going to do it for another week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been slowing down with the uploads a bit in the hope that they do patch the broken game and it carries on to existing saves, but let's not hold our breath. We haven't had anything since this game was released. But yeah, if you are still enjoying the series, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for some more Hot Canary action.